food, fitness, and family. That's it. This is CJ. Welcome to the gun show. What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> so when are you coming back to town with that? You want some of this? <laughs> you want this? You want casualty or cemetery? <laughs> Two menu items not coming to the Absolutely. Galaxy Drive-In in St. Louis. When I heard out, Chef Robert Irvine of Food kids. Network's Restaurant Food Impossible was tooling around with the Twin Cities-based restaurant <laughs> creator <laughs> Stephen yeah. Schistler, yeah. I knew that it was more than possible that there would be some flexing of the right kinds of guns. Okay, now I need you guys to flex. I need to see whose muscles are bigger, yours or... Uh, uh, this is much, much bigger. You got my weak arm. That's the weak arm? That's the weak arm. Much, much bigger. This one's a strong one. That's a strong arm? Oh, but so look at that! <laughs> has, there, has there been much of this going on today? You no, know, uh, yes. This was, there, there were some uh, pictures with the Hulk. Just back at the house. Yes. The, uh, we have Hulk in our warehouse. Our, our, uh, the Hulk Have spare. I seen Hulk? There's so much stuff in that warehouse. Forgive me, Hulk, if I have no haven't noticed you well, lately. For Superhero Park, adjacent to Galaxy Drive. -in. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, the, the oh, Hulk. look at that oh, Hulk. Hulk. Wow. Hey, CJ, we're gonna turn the world upside down. Chef Irvine thinks Steve, Steve Schussler may be one of the Absolutely. fastest talkers in the world. He buries me. He buries me literally five words to my one, <laughs> and he never comes up for air. <laughs> And I think it's to do with his creativity. I don't know, it's not his age, because he's he looks young, but I think it's his creativity. Creative people are like they go ten words to him. <laughs> so it's him. I don't think you're as grumpy as Gordon Ramsay? No. Ramsay. Is anybody as grumpy as Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> I think I think it's somewhat of an act. Okay, that was my next question. For Is it him. An act? I don't think he's always grumpy because I've heard great stories about his people staying in forever. I know that, that Restaurant Impossible, uh, we're about 77% of success in the 139 shows that we've done. So we're successful as a, as a show. So I don't know what his numbers are. Where did Steve take you today? So we've been to uh, his main office, the, uh, the warehouse over here, lunch here, going over there next. Going over there next. And I have to tell you, you know, when you think of, of restaurants and creative things, um, this guy is off the charts creative um, from a restaurant standpoint. I met Steve in the boathouse in Florida on my daughter's <laughs> graduation, and she picked the restaurant. And we had a private room, and uh, it was really, really nice. Steve came in, that's how I met him. And the whole experience from my, was from my daughter's name on the menu, the food was excellent. The place was fantastic. My daughter, at least, has been there probably about 20 or 30 times now uh, <laughs> since that date. And, uh, and Schussler became such fast friends that the chef left the copy of his newest book, pre-release date, with his new Minnesota pal. Steven Schussler's Minnesota venues are a lot to take in in a hurry. They are overwhelming even when you have time to dawdle, and Irvine didn't, as the tour moved to Eden Prairie and Schussler's Green Acres Event Center. I didn't hear Irvine say anything about the assortment of colorful cows outside the venue. His wife is a professional wrestler. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I just saw that. But there was not a doubt about how Chef Irvine felt regarding the power of Irvine's art. Yes. Yes. Get rid of that. It talks to you. Get rid of that. <laughs> What do they have to get rid of now? You got to get rid of that. It's just too classy. A few colorfully painted steers aren't going to come between these guys and their relationship as they became simpatico when Schussler showed Irvine the secret bond inspired entrance to the wine room. <laughs> Both executives are big James Bond fans. I freaking love this kind of stuff. Does this smell good in here? We did it because we want to be successful, we like to create, and we believe that the money will come. It's never been about money. Everybody else talks about money and what's the deal. For him, it's about the relationship, and that's a turn on to me. He turns me on more than anybody I've ever met in the food business. Yeah, he is such a nice, he's legitimate. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He's legitimate, he cares. When you put your hand up his shirt. <laughs>
<laughs> you make me hey, Gail Kim, Steve thought I blushed a little bit as I was putting the mic on your husband. That is all. <laughs>